Hey, it's Michael from Mark Smarter, and in this episode of How to Dynamo, I'm going to show you how you can sort a list of Revit elements by a specific parameter. Now, oftentimes we want to sort a list of rooms by room number, for example, or a list of areas by their area value, or even a list of levels by elevation. Now, you get the picture. We can't do this using the regular old sort. A list dot sort node. That node just sorts lists numerically or alphabetically, but not using a specific parameter. Instead, we need to make use of the list sort by function node so we can define the exact parameter we want to sort by. All right, want to see how it works? Let's switch over to Dynamo and take a look. So I'm here in Dynamo. I'm using this group right here to select all of the rooms from my model. So I have a code block with the rooms. Uh, category as a string. I have category by name, so I'm selecting uh, the category from the name, and then I'm putting that into my all elements of category node right here. So what this is doing is it's generating a list of rooms for me, and it's gathering these or grabbing these out of the model in the order in which they were put in. More often than not, that's not the order I want. I want to get them either by organized by room name or room number, or maybe I even want to get them organized by area. The way I can do this is I need to use a list sort by function node. Now this node is a little bit interesting, uh, partly because it uses that by function name. So what exactly does it mean by by function? Well, the by function input here allows me to specify uh, another group of nodes in order to sort this list. So I could use an element name node if I wanted to sort by element name, or if I wanted to get a different parameter, I can use the element get parameter value by name as my function. And that's what we're going to look at right now because this is a, a great node, list sort by function, uh, because it allows us to do and sort our list any way we want. So I'm going to take my all elements of category node right here and I'm going to pass that into my list input. Now sort by function, uh, let me create my function first. So let's say I want to sort my rooms by room number. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a code block and I'm going to type number here as a piece of text. So I'm going to uh, enclose that in quotes and then I'm going to end that with a semicolon because again I'm working in a code block and that's what you do. Now I'm going to plug that into our parameter name input for get parameter value by name. So now I'm going to connect these two nodes here, our get parameter value by name, into sort by function. So if we take a look at all elements of category, let me pop that open. I can see my list of rooms and that first room in my list has the element ID of 826376. Now when I run it through sort by function, I can see that that first uh, room is now 828508. So it definitely sorted it. So let's take a look at what that room number is. So we can, uh, let me grab this get parameter value by name node here. I'm going to make a copy of that and we can kind of do a before and after. So let's take, uh, we'll do another copy here. And we're just going to do this to verify that we're getting, you know, what we think. So our all elements category, I'm going to plug that into get parameter value by name down here at the bottom. So if we hover over that, I can see that the rooms I'm getting start with S1, S3, S2, E1, E2, 101. So there is sort of an order to it, but it's not necessarily a numerical order in the order that I want. Now I'm going to look at what we got after we ran sort by function. So let's connect our sorted list here to this other get parameter value by name. And what we can see is now our room numbers are sorted 101, 102, 103, all the way down the list. And then we get to our E1, E2, probably elevators, uh, and then S1, S2 at the end. Now those were S, those S rooms were coming in first before our sort, and now they're coming in at the end. So we know that our sort is working and it's sorting by our room number. Let me take those previews off right there. And in fact, we can get rid of this one down here at the bottom. So sort by function is really useful in that regard because I can specify a particular parameter and then I can do my sort by it. Now one thing to note is that I'm not connecting an, a list of elements into the element get by get parameter value by name node. Instead I'm just allowing this list sort by function. It's going to take my list of elements and then 
internally inside the node, it's going to pass those elements into this get parameter value by name. That's my function. And then it's going to sort the elements based on that parameter. So I just provide the parameter itself, the definition of the of the uh, function, I should say, and then list sort by function does the rest. Now, another node that's useful, and again, I'm going to find both of these under the list organize uh, um, category here. So I also have this list group by function. So this is useful when I want to sort of organize my elements by a common parameter. So let's say I wanted to organize my rooms and group my rooms by room name. I can use this same kind of configuration. I'm going to make a copy of get parameter value by name. And instead of parameter value, let's look at our name. Or sorry, instead of uh, looking at number, let's group these by name. So I'm going to plug that into the group function. And I'm going to take all elements of category and plug it into my list. So when I take a look at the output here, what I'm seeing is it's grouping, it's creating sort of internal nested lists inside of my output. So if I take our element name node right here, I'm going to paste that. So now we can take a look at what those groups actually are. Let's pass that in and then we take a look at the list. And I can see it's grouping all of my stair rooms together, all of my elevator, cafe, cafe kitchen, uh, outdoor. So any common room names, it groups those together. Now, if I wanted to kind of take this another step, what I could do, you can see that this list of groups is not alphabetical. It's grabbing stairs, elevators, cafe. So I can take my list sort by function node here. I'm sorting it. Uh, let's sort those by room name. So I can plug this, our get parameter value by name node down here at the bottom where we're using room name. I'm going to sort by room name first, and then I'm going to pass that sorted list into my group by function. So once I do that and give that a run, you can see now it's grouping those nodes alphabetically. Let me slide over a little bit here. And you can see that first I have bandstand, cafe, cafe, kitchen. And then we start getting into uh, some of those bigger groups, commercial, retail, corridor, so forth. So using this combination of nodes, I'm able to sort by a specific parameter. Uh, in this case, we're sorting by name. And then I can use group by function to group by that. And these nodes allow me to get into the parameter values, uh, which is a lot more useful typically when I'm working with Revit elements. I want to get into parameters and I want to use those parameters either to sort or to group or to do both. All right. So hopefully this was useful and helpful and uh, highlighted a couple of really cool nodes that are available to us in Dynamo. All right. Thanks.